Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another review. I'm your host, as always, Neil, bringing you a social media review for today. So in this case, as you can see, it's going to be a review of an app that's been around for a while. Um, I think most for a longer time on iOS, but now definitely available for Android and iOS and has been in the news a lot lately due to their recent rise in popularity. And it's an app called Vero. So what Vero is, is that it's a social media app for sharing a variety of different kinds of content, all from within the app, but in the style of Instagram. So while Instagram is more of a photo sharing site and um, f other social media services like Twitter or is more on the text and links and then Facebook is a mix of everything. Google Plus is also is more on based, on based on followers. Vero is one of those apps that actually takes a modern design but combines all of those different features into one app. So as you can see here, you have your standard uh, kind of looking layout. You can scroll through images and posts and things like that. In order to see your profile, for example, you just click on the face here and you can see here's my profile page. I have two connections following three people. I can check out requests, my posts, go into uh, settings and I can adjust my avatar, um, set, um, set purchase information and things like that. So the app does support um, purchasing. So for example, I think it only ties to Apple Music for now, but if um, there's a link provided where you can you want to make a purchase, then the app supports that as well. If you want to find people and add people, all you have to do is hit the search button and you can search for um, different people or hashtags or things like that. So uh, when you're touching, you can see the various different features. So let's say you want to do a book. You can search for books that have been shared with me, places, movies, things like that. Um, I haven't really figured out how to share TV show episodes, but you can easily share movies as well. Um and so that's the bulk of that. Uh, you can get your notifications here when you have when people like stuff, connections have been accepted. If you want to start a chat, you can do that. Um, in order to create a post, you'll just uh, touch that plus sign down at the bottom of the screen and you get the various options. So, for example, if I wanted to share a book review, I can click on book and you can see various recent um, books that are um, top books right now in iBooks, I guess it was more Apple related than anything, but let's say I wanted to do a, uh, po review of Ready Player One. So I do a search. I can say I'm reading it, want to read, don't recommend or recommend it. So I'm going to, uh, recommend it. And, um, you type in a quick comment. So if you want to say something like, uh, a great novel for fans, uh, fans of video games and uh, sci-fi and sci-fi movies this book is definitely worth a read and will get you pumped up for the movie And so once you've done that, you can already have an image. If there's multiple images um, available, you can swipe through them and pick the best one that you want. You'll hit next, and then you can set who you want to um, share the post with. So it takes kind of that whole Google Plus idea of um, people to share with. So if you do close friends, you can set that when you set up the contact. If you want to do friends, and you can do that. Um, and then if you want acquaintances, so people who are not quite friends with people you know, and if you want to do with followers and um, basically with everybody, then you can um, do that. So think of it kind of like a level of close, let's say family, friends, acquaintances, and public. So once you've said exactly who you want to share with, you'll hit post. The feed will refresh and you'll see a nice little thing here. Then people can help touch the heart if they like it. They can comment on it. You can... Um, touch the three dots and the one thing actually I didn't um do is um let's say I want to actually there is a way to um also if you want to share directly to Facebook and Twitter you can do that so for example 
um, let's say you want to share um, a track. So let's say I want to do um, something from the Black Panther soundtrack. Um, Panther. And uh, let's say I want to just share the um, this one track. Um, you can do recommend. Um, I'm, I'm going to try not to post it, but... Um, I'll keep it something simple like that. You'll hit next. And then actually underneath the, where the, um, your, uh, circle follower count is, you can touch Facebook or Twitter and it'll share, for example, your followers in Twitter and Facebook. So you can, um, share there as well. So if you want to build up, um, promotions to your Vero account or anything like that, or if you want to, um, start using that more and share to your other followers and other social media places, then you can do that as well. So that's really the bulk of it. Um, the biggest problem for me at the moment is that the app does take a little bit longer to load than I would like. Um, but when, once you are able to get in, as far as I know, for based on their Twitter account, is that they've gotten their servers fixed, so you should be able to load properly and sign in and create your account and all of that. Um, but the um, back-end stuff has been fixed as far as I can tell. So once the app loads and you're able to sign in, it is a pretty good app. Um, it is worth checking out. So I will say, and I will say, of course, tentatively that because my only downside is that the app takes a little bit longer to load. So, uh, definitely compared to, for example, Instagram, Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. So there is that. But if they fix that, um, then that's going to take out the hardest part for me. So it's just a matter of being able to scale and get people to use the app. So I definitely, at the moment, I'm going to give it a tentative recommendation and give it a shot um i know they were also saying that um the app is going to be free for the first million users and after that it's going to be subscription based for everyone after that million um but they're putting that on hold for a short time so we'll see if they what happens there so i would say that for now if you want to give it a shot and get your account in and whether or not you use it or in case it does turn out to be something worth using using then definitely give it a shot to see if it's something you like and want to um, I use it. So the app is called uh, Vero. It is available at the moment for free um, in the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Um, and if you can get your account in, then definitely uh, give it a shot. But that is all for this particular review. If you want to get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. Just find me under my name on uh, Vero at Neil Patel. And, of course, all links, subscription links, and all of that good stuff can be found on the website at pateln01.com. And, of course, if you want to support, see more uh, videos and get access to our content early and all of that good stuff, be sure to visit the Patreon at patreon.com slash pateln01. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.